Yeah, shout out Mojav, Mojave, Mojave. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm my bad, bro. I'm my bad. Shout, shout y'all out. All right. So, which stripper makes um, the most money? This will be very engaging, I feel like, and educational. Very engaging and educational. Um, I, I don't know. I got to see everyone. This is a crazy fit. Let me put myself down here. This is a crazy fit. Off tops, I'm not paying him for no work. Off the rip. Just wearing some shit like this, you're not getting no work. She she popped out with the office worker 11 on. I don't know what she doing. She look like she's from the UK, even though I know she's from the US. I don't know what the fuck going on, man. It's a lot, it's a lot happening. It's a lot to take in. I to sniff my butt. <laughs> but he, I mean, he tipped me for it. Um. Okay, all right. I'm Ra Ra. My dancer name was Dylan. I haven't danced in like two years, but I was a stripper in Vegas. I was a dancer for like a year and a half. I'm Mariah. I. Okay, wait. Let me scan the environment. I was a dancer for like a year and a half. I'm about to scan. I'm Mariah. All right, let's scan. Off tops. Nobody's getting hired. Off tops. Everybody trashed. Nobody at all. Um. I don't know why she dressed like a plumber or no, like a ghostbuster. She dressed like a ghostbuster. I don't know why. I'm not hiring none of these niggas. I got to see her face. But do faces really matter when you're a stripper? I feel like it doesn't. What? Yeah, I don't think that matters. I think it's about dancing ability. Like, show me your best dance moves. Yeah, everybody got to break out with their best dance mood. Off top right now, though, I'm not hiring nobody. I uh, I have been dancing. Oh, no, she she got, she got the way, too. Professionally, probably the past few years. I just saw the little bridge right here. It's just really bothering me. There's only. I don't dance as much in clubs as much as I do, like, private events. I'm Ashley. My stage name is Claire. I have been dancing since I was 19, so like seven years, but I took like a three-year break. I'm Hurricane. I'm 23. I'm a Pisces. I've been stripping for a year and two months. Wait, are you stage four or stage five? You know what I'm saying? What do you mean by that? How, how large is the hurricane? How much can your vortex take in? That's the question. You know what I'm saying? Me personally. Me personally. And I'll touch that nigga. What? Going down in here, I'm with the money team. Bro, you gonna stop dick sucking the jokes. Like that was a good that was creative. I thought of that on the fly and now you acting like all of a sudden because it was me saying it, and all of a sudden it's pretty bad. Like it's not. That was just that was a dub. Most of y'all thought it and you just mad you didn't type it in the chat first. So I started last year in May. Hey guys, I'm Ty. Uh my dancer name is Category Stage, whatever the fuck EF6, you know what I mean. Halo. I've uh, been kind of in the scene for almost a year actually in may i'm selena i have been dancing since calling yourself halo as a black man is hilarious 2016 i took a couple years off i'm the president of strippers united which is an organization that advocates for labor rights in the workplace for strippers did you say vapor rights or safer rights? I follow you guys. I know. Oh, cool. I get, yeah. I get your emails. Oh, hey, awesome. Yeah, I did an event recently with the Stripper Strike No Ho. Oh, awesome. Group. Yeah. That's the cool. Club Star Garden is striking. They wanted like a healthier environment. They were not paying the hourly wage that is mandated in the state of California. I think strippers also, there's like the kind of glamour of it. Like, you know, somebody who's like hot and like covered in like dollar bills. The glamorization glosses over like the bigger workplace abuses and situational things like the discrimination. I get where she's going with this. Perfectly respected or completely respected. Perfectly understandable. I am trying to say who's making the most money, though. Like, that's really it. Outside of that, though, I'm completely in support. But I just want to, you know what I'm saying? Who is the best dancer? And if you're the president, are you a stripper anymore? I'm confused. I feel like I need to switch with her because she's only dancing in Vegas and I know there's money in Vegas. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, we're gonna switch. <laughs> okay, yeah, I could see that. Hold on, hold what on, hold on. Hold on, is she wearing jade? Money in Vegas. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, we're gonna switch. <laughs> okay. They're hidden. I don't like the way she's wearing them. 
the way she's wearing them really fucking with me. But W shoe choice, wrong top, pants hanging over your shit. I don't know how you get down in real life, in regular every day on your day to day. So I don't know. Yeah, I could see that. What were your guys' like prices for dances, private rooms, oh, yeah. all that? Like our hours in Vegas were a thousand for an hour. Do you get to keep the whole thousand or? Yeah, so in Vegas you're self-employed. So you only pay okay. the night fee to work. And then we didn't have to do any tip outs or anything because it was such a big effing club. Can you explain okay. what a tip out is? Like tipping out like the DJ, the security guards, the house mom. Floaters, bouncers. Yeah. Yeah. We help them make money and they help by protecting us or like putting us on stage. So that's like- our My nigga, the establishment should pay for that. If the whole establishment is making money off the backs of the strippers, why wouldn't they also pay for the protection of said strippers? What the fuck? Why would you have to pay? That makes no sense. Our gratitude for them. But kind of. Because also, <laughs> like, they're getting wages, and it's also, they like... That's the whole point of us even coming to the strip club, is because of the dancers. Why, why, what the fuck? Why, why are the dancers paying out for their own protection? What the fuck is going on? Or they also can, like, hassle you and intimidate you or threaten your job That's if you true. don't... Yeah. Do I mean, I got a call in the middle of the evening from the manager who, like, threatened to take away my job if I didn't tip out enough. So I understand it's like different, but I had like a great experience in Vegas where it's like everyone was there. It depends. So what, where where are they going? Which which place are they going to? Because this isn't an unfo this isn't a foreign concept where people will pay them out. I'm lost. I'm lost on stripper culture, on dancing culture. I'm lost. I wish Selena would call me. Who is Selena? like to protect the dancers. We never got like a finger laid on us. To do private dances, every single booth had a camera and like yeah. they're watching. That was also my experience in Vegas. I felt so safe I and felt like so cared safe. for. Yeah. And... Well, Vegas, you're right up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do freelancing, but uh, as far as my prices, I would say about at least like 400. 400, yeah. yeah. 400. So the most expensive one at my club is 720, so for an hour. The most expensive one at my club is 900 for half an hour. As a trans woman, I haven't had like a situation where I've done private rooms. A lot of us don't get permanent gigs like that with clubs. Yeah, like a lot of the clubs are like trans night three times a month or something, yeah. which is like bizarre to me that we're in 2022 <laughs> in Los Angeles. For me, it would be an hourly thing. Yeah. So I try to do like 100 an hour. One of the clubs that I've danced at, the most expensive dance was $800 for an hour. How much did you get to keep of that? Wait, 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 what did she just say? Yeah. So I try to do like a hundred an hour. A hundred? Bro, at this point, I'm just, I'm just, I'm jacking niggas at this point. The clubs that I've danced at, the most expensive dance was $800 for an hour. I'm jacking niggas how at that point. How much did you get to keep of that? 60, 40. And then how okay. much did you get to keep of yours? Uh, like 50, 50. I'm gonna say, I feel like I should- Cardi B, yeah, Cardi B. I think 1800 yeah. full effect. <laughs> What's like the weirdest request? Uh, Cause that kind of entails how much money you made. Some guy asked to sniff my butt. <laughs> yeah. in, the dance, in the private dance room. That's yeah, actually not I went to weird. go get it. It's not. It's not. And like, it was like through like, you know, my yeah. outfit and stuff, but he just like, oh, like I have a kink. Like I like to sniff butts. I'm kink shaming that, bro. If you sniff butts, you're weird. It is what it is. I don't care um, how progressive we get in society. Anyone who wants to normalize butt sniffing or feet stuff, uh, you need to be shamed publicly and exposed. That's just me. I'm all for kink shaming when it comes to feet and ass. I mean, he tipped me for it. Um, okay. Yeah. Go ahead, baby. Like, yeah. <laughs> Mine's similar to that. Cause really? I had a guy, <laughs> he wanted me to fart on him. <laughs> <laughs> Which, like, sure, he was paying well, tipping yeah, nice. Yeah. Um, I literally just had to sit over him for three hours and, like, fart on his face. One guy wanted me to... How do you, how do you develop that much gas? To, like... He like, if the request is like that, like, what if a nigga came up in there and was like, yo, I need you to shit on my chest, like, on command. Could you do it? I'm trying to think if I was a woman. Like, even as a man, I couldn't just shit. Like, that's just, that's very, it's a very powerful thing to do. Like, it, it's, it takes a certain amount of bowel training, I feel like, and a certain amount of eating and preparation.
you gotta have a big ass meal full of fiber full of carbs and then you come up out the cut later it's gonna be like a process it's like one day shipping or some shit like that one day shitting it's 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 a lot it's a process him and like talk about his baby and twist his nipples and talk about like how his nipples were like pathetic and like oh, feminine oh. to be honest i don't think i've gotten any word request at all i think it was more like a, a fetish thing so i should go on the end i get a lot of couples well i feel like maybe you would be on the end of that end like the price point of your hours at your club were higher than the Vegas price point. I only get to yeah. keep 50% of mine. Oh, true. So it's 1800 you keep 900 Yeah. Okay, then yeah. I keep 1000 Bro, you overpriced. This is crazy. That's so it's like yeah. the same. We get a lot of people um, from like around Beverly Hills, so automatically people with a little bit more money. There's a lot of like real estate people. We get some like bigger groups that usually just tip really well like on stage and stuff. Doctors, athletes, cause there's a lot of games that happen. Okay girl. My whole clientele is cis men. Yeah, like exactly. cis hetero men. Cis hetero men. Cis -hetero. My demographic, construction workers. Why does she say that like in such a shocked way? Yeah, like exactly. cis hetero men. Cis -hetero men. Or is she saying it like in a way where it's like they deny that they, you know, had any any involvement with her in public? Maybe that's what she's trying to say. My graphic construction workers. Okay. <laughs> they love me. Yeah. <laughs> the craziest, like most expensive gift okay. you've gotten. Ooh, these shoes. They were from freaking Versace. Okay, then maybe we need to switch. Because my most expensive gift were these beads and they were fake. Oh, oh. Yeah, I was like, girl, why is there Chinese writing on the back? That's rude. Yes. For me, it's been jewelry, earrings, and I've gotten some nice, like, little tennis bracelets. My most expensive gift has been a semester of tuition. Oh, wow. That's yeah. a good one. I think y'all might have to switch. <laughs> what did you do to that nigga to give him, for him to give you a semester off? Those are the two biggest pimping things in the industry is education and healthcare. How did you get off that on that? That's crazy. <laughs> I never got any. Regulars were not a thing in Vegas. Yeah. Because everyone is traveling Yeah, it's Vegas. like transient, yeah. which is kind of, it could be good because it's like people want to like spend in that moment yeah. and go all out. Uh, well, I was going to say my most expensive gift is my Cartier bracelet, Ooh. but after you said your tuition, I had two years of my tuition for my master's in studies of law paid. Oh, yeah. yes. <laughs> That's dope. It's a lot of I feel like she lying. She just wanted to one up Selena low key. I feel like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. Me personally, like, I feel like she wouldn't have said nothing if Selena didn't say nothing. That's just me though. I, I don't know. She just kind of came about the cut with that. Like, uh, I don't know. Like, attention seeking. I don't know. I was... Emotional labor. They'll literally come in and be like, oh, like, my mom just. Died. I don't know, it's bro. It's nice to, like, be there for them and it helps create that personal, intimate relationship. But it is pretty exhausting to hear like 10 stories like that a night. Do you guys think that aesthetic plays into it? Like ethnicity, body type? Oh, for, oh, sure. for sure. Yeah. It's divided like every other bit of society is. Like whiteness is, you know, like top tier. Body size is definitely like heavily valued. I've always get told like I'm more exotic looking. I mean, I, I am mixed, but like, you know. You not tough with that zest pock toe Jonathan. Say that to my face though. You won't, cause you's a bitch. You's a bitch, and you're not really you're not ready to put it all on the line for your pride and for your for your manhood. You're not ready to do all that. Don't talk zesty. Don't talk crazy. This shoulda beat niggas. This shoulda chop niggas. This shoulda leave niggas di looking different. The encounter not gonna be what you think it's gonna be. One swipe and your neck is gone. It could be. I don't know. Maybe you know, but maybe I don't know. Maybe I will know and. I can see and I know what's going to happen and you don't. Maybe I know and you don't know. Maybe you, maybe you do know and you're just talking crazy in the chat. You know what I'm saying? You know what this shit will do to you. I don't know. It's just me, though. I don't look too black. And I'm just like, what? Black what is yeah. exotic. Exactly. Exactly. What, what are you talking about? Black exactly. 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 Like, what do you mean? Like, what? Like, trans women who are passing that are dancing in these spaces, that's like a risk for them. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. if anyone finds out and they didn't know and they're not comfortable like these men. They get violent. They get really violent. Uh, they will murder you they're sometimes. Exactly. Like, yeah. In the club, what is unfortunate is that the management thinks that they can pick what girls are attractive 
when in reality, customers are the one giving the money, yeah. there's a high possibility I'm gonna to be told I can't even work there. Definitely have a voice to stand up for yourself because people do try to fuck with you in the club and you just have to be like a strong person. I think we could switch. Okay. She said she got her tuition paid. I think um, me and you switch was only because you worked like less hours. Maybe. Only because you're black. That's why we should switch. We should switch because the blacks belong at the end of the bus. That's what she wanted to say. That's what she wanted to say, Chad. Let's be real with yourself. Be honest. But, but. Be honest with yourself. That's what she wanted to say. Girl, you okay. get your coin. Come yeah. on. <laughs> How does the actual like dancing ability come That's into crazy. play? Do you think that that sort of plays into how much I you don't get think paid? No, no, it really doesn't. No. I wouldn't say I'm a trained dancer. I'm very just like seductive. It's not like I'm busting a move or something. Like, <laughs> I'm not Janet out here. <laughs> People just want in their face. They want like an intimate dance instead of like, look at all these tricks I can do. They want to be like, oh yeah, she's dancing for me. Yeah, they want like the eye contact. They want like you to smile at them and like yeah. make them feel special. And then they want like to in their face. Not a lot of people can do this. Okay. But, um. Bro. <laughs> bro, don't do it. <laughs> I swear to God. I will use this shit, bro. Don't. Don't do it, bro. Nigga. And I don't give a fuck. Nigga. It's going down in here. I'm with the money team. A nigga bust out the cut like this on me for no reason and I got this shit on me. Tell me he not going to end up a different way. I'm just saying, relax. I didn't ask you to do none of that. What you doing? Get up. Get up. Stand up. Stand up straight. Like, bro, like, relax. I'm taking at least three swings. You're taking at least three swings? Like, you're... You're throwing three punches at him, or are you trying to say you're going to get three swings off on me before I cut your head off with this shit in GTA? What are you trying to say? I need you to clarify. This is crazy. Nah, bro. Nah. I'm cool. <laughs> I don't care. What are you? Why? So are we locked in? Why is he the only one that really put the performance out? Nobody else really did nothing. This is what I'm talking about, bro. I see why niggas be against women. I do. I do. This nigga put the most effort into the whole shit. The whole shaboing boing. He got his shaboing boing out. Out hanging on thigh, basically. Legs spread. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. The nigga who put in the most effort is at the back of the bus. Put there. By some chick that look like she's from the UK, that dress like she's from the UK. It's crazy. And he getting paid the least. Doing the most just to get acknowledged last, just to get put last. That's crazy. He clearly has the most skill. And he black. Why are we not acknowledging the over overarching reality here? This is crazy. This is crazy, bro. It really is. He's doing all this extra work. And he not gonna get no type of no type of dividends, no type of nothing. His family not gonna be taken care of if he die. Like he got like twelve hundred in a bank account that he got from some random weird ass nigga. All the strange requests come from niggas, so I can't even blame women for even putting him on the map. It's all niggas. If you had to choose, whose services are you taking? I'm not taking no services, bro. They're all done. Everybody getting out of the lineup. I'm hiring nothing but belly dancers and, and mariachi bands. That's it. Mariachi bands and, 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 and belly dancers is the only ones that's getting my money. That's it. That's just it, bro. I'm hiring nothing but... Oh, see, I can't say that. I can't say it. See, this is the problem. This is the problem. Okay? This is the problem. When it's me, I'm moving different. When it's me, I'm moving different. I'm going to make sure the people that aren't acknowledged get acknowledged. That's all I'm saying. I'm, how am I a munch? Ow, I almost stabbed myself in the back. Whoa. Oh, hold on. I almost did the Uzi. You see what I'm saying? Hold on. Got to get my shoulder out. Hold on, wait. Don't worry about it. Anyway. Um, 
what I'm saying is though, in my mind, in my mind, nobody here is getting hired. Especially for the for the price range that they're talking about. Nobody here is getting hired. Now you gotta choose one or odd wave giving you one. Rod Wave giving me a lap dance then. I don't get And nigga DJ Khaled or Rod Wave lap dance. I don't care both of them low key. I'm not taking none of these niggas. None of them. Y'all are all overpriced. At least if I get a lap dance from Rod Wave and, and DJ Khaled it's going to be free. I ain't got to pay for nothing. This is crazy. She's talking about exploiting the loneliness of men and profiting off of it. This is why you should focus on yourself. Honestly, though, honestly, honestly, really focus on yourself. Really focus on yourself. Like, as a man, as a young man, don't get sucked into this world. Don't get sucked into this world. Not because sex workers and, and dancers and strippers don't deserve, you know, to have their, uh, you know what I'm saying, don't deserve to have an income and don't deserve to earn a livelihood, but just don't get wrapped into this circle. Because some niggas, and when I say some niggas, I mean some women that are in this uh, in this space will, you know, sap out certain niggas that are like that. I've seen it happen to, 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 to a couple niggas. I've seen it happen. And it's not... It's not a, it's not it's not where you want to be. It should always be optional if that's the lane that you want to go down. That's all I'm saying. Don't 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 come into this trying to trying to replace you know what I'm saying? Regular intimacy with some shit that you got to pay for. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. W fit, psych nah, business casual ass motherfucker. I mean, I don't why don't you put your bitch on stream and ask her what she think? I feel like she, I feel like she fuck with it. I feel like she fuck with me over you. High key. But that's just me though. Anyway, uh, like I was saying, don't let yourself fall into this, into this world. It's okay to support for entertainment purposes. Don't let it replace regular intimacy and shit like that. That's all I'm saying. Cause a lot of niggas, they go down this road, down this path. Down his path, bro. It's a lot of niggas. Is that what's happening? I think we're locked in. Yeah, we're locked in. I think so. So in the sixth spot, we have Mariah at 600. The biggest take home in one night. Fifth spot, we have Halo at 800 in one night. Fourth spot, we have Hurricane at 840 in one night. Third spot, we have Ashley at 3300 in one night. Nigga, I wish I had been there. Nigga, ask me, have I been there? I wish I was... I wish I got something for some of the money that I've wasted. I wish I got... I wish I I wish I spent it on pussy at some point. Because I spent it on way worse. There's way worse things that you can buy than, than, than pussy with, with money. That's all I'm saying. I spent it on way worse. Way less useful, less beneficial shit is all I'm saying. But don't do it, is all I'm saying. Don't do it. Don't spend it on pussy. But I'm just saying, I would have rather spent it on pussy than some of the shit that I've spent it on. That's all I'm saying. Okay, girl. Oh, pussy is not the worst thing you can spend money on. It's one of the worst, but it's not the worst. Make them pockets hurt. <laughs> Wait, what'd she say? There's no way. Okay, girl. Wow, she's capping, bro. She's cap. I'm not surprised, though. She white. She white. I don't know what it is about white women sometimes. Like, niggas be like some of the stories I've heard from white girls that I know, like of, of the shit that they've been offered, is crazy. Some of my white co workers, some of my old white co workers that were women would tell me some crazy shit. I used to work at a restaurant and we had servers and shit like that. And some of the shit that they, that they were offered, they told me about. I'm like, look, no offense. No offense. I'm trying to say it in a way that don't, you know what I'm saying? Because I don't, you know, relax. But I'm like, no offense. And I didn't say that because I'm not a dickhead. I'm like, no offense. Like, you okay. You passable. Who's paying you that? For what? 
It's like it was it was just on some shit where I was just like I was culturally shocked because I'm like, OK, but it was consistent. Like a lot of the white women would tell me like, oh, yeah, this dude offered me like ten thousand dollars to go in the back or go, or go on a trip or go go. Here. I'm like, bro, what the fuck? Why is he paying you that? I'm not saying that the concept of them paying a, a large amount of money is crazy, but them paying for you is what i think is crazy and that's how i feel about her like who's giving you thirty three hundred dollars bro for what for what new john legend album dropped nigga tell at john never mind never mind but i'm just like wow that's crazy who's giving you that amount of money bro i wouldn't give you three thousand dollars I wouldn't give you five hundred. I wouldn't give you a hundred. I wouldn't give you fifty. I wouldn't loan you twenty. It, it's crazy. Oh, make them pockets hurt. <laughs> in our second spot, we have Rochelle at four thousand in one night. That's crazy. And in our first spot, we have Selena at five thousand. Yeah. <laughs> That's gold right there. Yes, I just met a nice corporate litigator and you just fell in love. Yeah. Mine was off of a spinal cord surgeon. Oh, hell yeah. Oh. Who was like in his 70s just doing <laughs> and off my ass the whole yeah, night. Yeah. Should have made him put you on the wheel that night. I know. <laughs> and his Are you sure you're gonna wake up tomorrow, sir? I don't understand what this was supposed to be though. I don't know if I expected this or not. You guys are a little bit different. Oh, it was raining. My bad, my bad, my bad. Or like, at all. Yes, because I'm sure you guys have had really good nights, but outside of this. Yeah. I know you make money. So, I know. I can yeah. tell. I'm, I'm happy with it. I this is Jay's house. I know I'm beautiful. World and I know that this is only going to be a stepping stone to get back. Shut up, nigga. Really want to go. And you're a king, my darling. Yes, king, queen, king. all that, yes. I mean, I've been in this end. Why is he standing like that, bro? Like, bro, put your back in. Why, what what he doing? What is his stance? Like, <laughs> like, niggas just be making me mad, bro. You're doing this on purpose. You're doing it on purpose, bro. You're not really like that. You just not. Like, come on, man. Industry for a little while. <laughs> So it's like, you know, I think the longer you're in it, the more oh. you have. I do this job because I respect what is going on? my time because I enjoy it and it's a lot of fun. If you want to donate to the cause because it's really important to support strippers in the fight for labor rights, um, you can follow on Instagram at StripperStrikeNoHo or you could go to strippersunited.org and donate there. I don't want to I don't want to donate, but that is incredible for what you are doing and i appreciate that you know what i'm saying i wish stripping not stripping but i wish the stripper industry is something that i like really was passionate about and wanted to get into i don't as horny as i used to be when i was younger i never thought hmm when i turn 18 i'm going right to the brothel i know it's two totally different things it's not a strip club brothel totally different things but i'm just saying it's just like i thought it would i thought when i was younger i would have got into it i did 